Greetings on this day before the end of our voting season. Tomorrow, if you haven't voted, please do vote. That is a gift that we have here in this land. So make sure you vote. Tomorrow morning, I'm getting up at six o'clock and then I am wandering over to Grace Episcopal Church which is my precinct, and it's where I get to vote, and I'll be doing that tomorrow morning. On Wednesday morning, it's my belief, I don't know, but I kind of think we are not going to know who has prevailed in this election. But what I do know is that we, the people, will continue to be and form communities of faith where all can come and find solace, sanctuary, and hope. As we go forward after this election, friends, remember that we are followers of Jesus Christ and that Christ is with us and that we are called to be the ones who bear witness to his love his groundedness, his tenacity, and go figure, his faith in humanity. That's my hope and that's my prayer for all of us in this very anxious time that we can be the people who hold each other tight and welcome all in need. And so let's pray um, and it is the prayer for social justice. Grant, O oh God, that your holy and life-giving spirit may so move every human heart, and especially the hearts of the people of this land, that barriers which divide us may crumble, suspicions disappear, and hatred cease, and that our divisions being healed, we may live in justice and peace, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And friends, peace be with you. Take care.